an Academy. Let's crack it. Okay. So, yeah, let's understand. Hari prepares a budget to visit London. Wow, that's amazing. However, he spends 12% of his budget on the first 10 days of uh, his travel when he stays in the city. Okay, so when he stayed in the city, um, in 10% uh, of the days, so let me write down days and uh, amount spent. Amount spent. Okay, so <clears throat> yeah, in 10% of the days, he spent 12% um, of the budget amount. Are you getting this point? Further, it says that he knows that he has to spend another 35% of the days in the city itself. So guys, when he stay in the city for another 35% of the days, can I say for 10%, 12% amount is consumed. So for 35% or let's write down this way. Okay, suppose his amount was uh, total amount that he planned budget amount was 100x. So he spent 12x. And if he stays for another 35% of the days, so can I say he'll, he's going to spend 42x? Everyone, do you all agree? See, it's very simple. For 10%, it is 12x. So can I say for 35%, it should be 42x. Why? Just check this ratio. It is 5 is to 6. And so this also has to be 5 to 6, right? You can also do the cross multiplication and get this value multiple ways right okay so this is what we have understood now the question is after which he would travel to countryside okay so he is going to travel to countryside countryside okay and uh now how many days are left guys so can i say he has already spent 45 percent of the days so in countryside he is going to spend 55 percent of the days right so, uh, and uh, what is the budget amount left with him? So guys, he has consumed in this 45% of the days, he has consumed how much? 54x. So now he's left with how much? Can say just 46x is what he's left with, right? Guys, are you all clear up till now? Just confirm once in the chat box because the question is almost solved with this. Okay, now I'll show you how you can make the calculation very easy. So the question is, what should be the minimum decrease in spending in countryside as compared to spending in city per day, so as to complete his travel on initial budget itself? Now, please understand. Guys, can I say in city for 35% days, he has spent 42 42x amount. So for city, 55% days, how much amount will he spend? Can I say he'll spend 66x? Yes. In CT, for 55% of the days, he would have spent 66x. While in countryside, for 55% days, he will be spending only 46 day, 46x. So can I say the drop is 20x? Yes. The drop is 20x. So percentage decrease in expenditure in countryside as compared to city should be 20x over 66x 66x so guys if you calculate this okay this will come out to be 30.3 percent that's your answer so just you had to do it this way have you all understood see we know how many percent days he has stayed in city what amount he has spent in countryside, how many percent he's going, how many percent days is he going to stay and what amount is he going to spend? And we have to compare city amount with countryside amount. So somewhere we'll have to make the days equal. We can make it for one percent days, one day. We can make it for 55 percent days. Ultimately, the comparison would come out to be the same. Okay, for 55 percent days in city, he would require to spend 66 X while for 55 percent of the days in countryside, he can spend only 46 X. So 66x to 46x, what is the percentage drop? It is 33, 30.3% uh, 30 drop. And that is what they had asked. So we are done with the question. Guys, have you all understood this? So this makes it an easy question, actually. Once you have understood, this question becomes pretty easy question. Yeah, everyone? Sure, let's go ahead. Okay. Uh, just give me a second. Mm, 
let me let me show you the second question just making some changes in the bit time one second huh? sure so guys let's look at the next question and this was a little tricky one see if you could manage this question select your answer in the poll first in case if you haven't solved it go through the data try it for a minute then we'll discuss गला सिर्फ डर से नहीं सुखता है गर्मी से भी सुखता है ना पोल पोल इज ऑन योर स्क्रीन किशन सिलेक्ट योर आंसर इन द पोल इन केस यू आर नॉट एबल टू सी द पोल जस्ट कम गो बैक एंड कम आई मीन गो रिफ्रेश द स्क्रीन यू कैन गो बैक एंड कम बैक sure so answer will be 140000 right ha matlab go back and come back matlab rejoin theek hai hmm now guys there are two ways to solve this question theek hai so uh method 2 is this one theek hai method 1 is through options by options which will be actually easier in this case so there will be certain question which are to be solved by option normal method would be something like this guys uh, we are talking about assembly elections theek hai na we are talking about assembly polls and national general election so assembly and national general national general election theek hai so we are talking about two elections and uh, votes for for votes for and votes against do you all agree any party receives votes for and votes against correct okay now what are the total number of votes can i say in both the election the party has received i mean total votes cast were 260000 ठीक है इन बोथ द इलेक्शन टोटल वोट्स वर टू लैख सिक्सटी थाउजेंड डू यू ऑल अग्री सो गाइस लेट्स अज्यूम इन असेंबली इलेक्शन द वोट्स अगेंस्ट वर एक्स ठीक है सो वोट्स फॉर कितना हो जाएगा सो इट विल बी टू लैख सिक्सटी थाउजेंड माइनस एक्स टू पॉइंट सिक्स लैख माइनस एक्स डू यू अग्री वी कैन कॉल इट टू पॉइंट सिक्स लैख राइट ओके fine now they have mentioned look at this the number of votes not cast for the party matlab against the party has increased by 25% in national general election over those not cast for it in the previous assembly poll so compared to assembly poll this number of votes against have increased by 25% right so can i say it should become 1.25x over here So guys, what will be votes for? So 2.6 lakh minus 1.25x, 2.6 lakh minus 1.25x. Do you all agree with this, everyone? Now it is mentioned. Now this is the critical part, and this is what you need to learn how to make the equation. For example, if this question is a theta question, there is no choice but to solve by method two. Yes, everyone. So we need to, and we should be able to make equation very. clean in a very clean manner right so here it says and the praja party lost by a majority majority means here you can say margin twice as large that by which it had won the assembly polls so one thing is for sure it won the assembly poll 
and it lost this election right so here the second election that is national general election it lost by a margin which was twice the assembly poll margin are you getting this point guys so here i can say that losing margin lost margin listen listen guys ha 1.25x na right 1.25x ha huh? 5 was missing chal correct it so lost margin is equal to twice the winning margin correct do you all agree with this guys now how will you how will you calculate lost margin to so can i say lost margin is votes against minus votes for so votes against minus vote for is equal to twice what votes for minus votes against yes or no so guys what are the votes against in national general election 1.25x so can i say here 1.25x minus 2.6 lakh minus 1.25x is equal to twice uh, what is the winning margin to so four minus against theek hai to two times four will be 2.6 lakh minus x minus x have you all understood so guys if you solve this you will get value of x as 1 lakh 20000 just solve this equation you will get x as 1 lakh 20000 theek hai just simple you will get uh, you know 6.5x is equal to uh, 7.8 lakh theek hai or you can say 7 lakh 80000 7 lakh 80000 right so x will be 1 lakh 20000 everyone so your losing margin in assembly election your losing uh, votes were 1 lakh 20000 so can i say votes for must be 1 lakh 40000 so that's how you will get 1 lakh 40000 now instead of doing this guys what you can do is now let me show you simple way this will consume some time isn't that do you all agree this will consume some time and there is a chance of committing some error right so let's see uh, let's go by options so we know uh, we are talking about assembly election assembly election and national general election national general election and once again uh, we are talking about what's votes for and votes against right and total votes in both the cases were how much 2 lakh 60000 Two lakh sixty thousand. Everyone, okay. <clears throat> Now they are saying this has increased by twenty five percent. This has increased by twenty five percent. So, guys, whenever you come across such question where you are going to go by options, you will always pick a middle value. For example, the values for see the question is uh, how many vote how many voted for the party in assembly election. So we are given value for this. particular cell theek hai you are given this value correct so in this one what i'll do is i'll pick a value my values are 1 lakh 10000 to 1 lakh 50000 hai na so i can pick something like 1 lakh 20000 or 1 lakh 40000 so if i pick 1 lakh 40000 over here guys if i pick 1 lakh 40000 over here can i say it will be 1 lakh 20000 over here yeah and it's very easy for you to increase 1 lakh 20000 by 25% Yes, so can I say this will become one lakh fifty thousand? This will become one lakh fifty thousand if you increase by twenty five percent. So this should be one lakh ten thousand, correct? This will become one lakh ten thousand. So what will be the losing margin over here? Forty thousand. What was the winning margin over here? Twenty thousand. So can I say you lost by double the margin by which you won earlier? So this is true. So this option is correct. See, if you take one lakh twenty thousand over here, sorry, if you take one lakh ten thousand value over here, one lakh ten thousand, right? So, guys, what will be this value? Can I say it will come out to be one lakh fifty thousand? And twenty five percent of one lakh fifty thousand is not going to be a value multiple of ten thousand. So, you can always ignore those options. Okay, you can start with the option which can give you some value over here against, which you can easily increase by twenty five percent. Are we all clear? So simply by options, you can solve this question. It will take 
say at the most uh, two minutes for you to verify everything. Even if you start with first option and go till last option, you know, the only thing you should be sure or confident of is your calculation. Yeah, you are not committing silly mistakes in calculation. Trust me, you would be through. Okay. So when you are solving questions, just pay attention to the kind of calculations that you're making. Are you the one who calculates wrongly? Say, for example, if I ask you 35 Forza, now are you the one who is make who is calculating it as 160, 130, something like that, when it should be ideally 140? You know? So if you are always calculating uh, things correctly, then trust me, you can easily go by answer option. It would not be a challenge. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Shruti, most of the time I do this means what? You are committing silly mistakes in calculation or most of the time you are going by options. I, I didn't get your point. If you are committing silly mistakes in calculation, then trust me, you need to work on that Shruti. Uh, you know, even if you don't focus more on completing topics, but work on that, that would be more helpful. Because just imagine a scenario here, you completed 100% of the syllabus, you are very clear with the concepts. But you keep committing silly mistakes in calculation, you will have to do 1000 calculations in actual paper. So then, you Unacademy. Let's crack it.